Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you are new here. My name is Lily and on this page we talk about personal development and mindfulness. Now in today's video I'm going to be going into more detail on your limiting self-beliefs. Now I've spoken about this twice now so this will be the third time on this channel i will do the little info thing for the first video and obviously last week we spoke about limiting and empowering belief systems now why i want to go into your limiting belief systems a little bit more is because this is like where the groundwork starts for you to really start seeing momentum and building that kind of you know lifestyle that you want becoming the person that you truly believe that you deserve to be and all of that kind of stuff your limiting self-beliefs is really what gets in the way of that so understanding the belief system that you put in play that isn't usually even yours to begin with it's what society has given you just growing up trying to understand different situations that as a child you just logically can't comprehend so you put labels on and all of these kinds of different belief systems that just happen from you growing up and trying to make sense of the world around you. So really getting to the bottom of them is key to moving forward and just taking ownership of your empowering beliefs. So let's just get straight into it. So the first thing is obviously taking ownership of you. You are you. <laughs> you are not your thoughts and you are not your past and you're definitely not your future because you haven't even got there yet. So it's all about understanding that what you do right now and the choices that you make right now are the only thing that define you. The, if you're not happy where you are in life right now, it's not because of who you are right now, it's because of who you were in the past. I heard this through, I was watching a video about meditation and they were basically saying that living in the past is is, bringing, is almost like living in depression because it's kind of like you're thinking about what was and wanting to change the past and then living in the future is like living with anxiety because you're worried of what ifs and living in the present is the only time that you actually can control so that's where you're going to find the peace and that balance and actually meditating and focusing on your breath for example really helps you bring yourself back to the present moment and ground yourself because when we're having those thoughts that we have in our mind those are literally like time traveling where you're going either to the past or you're going to the future and you're thinking about all the things that you need to do or you're thinking about all the things that you've done or you wish you had have done so understanding that it's the present moment that is the only thing that really really matters and actually that you know you're not your thoughts and you're not attached to those things and just accepting that you are where you are right now and that that's okay and it doesn't define the rest of your life tip number two which is something that i'm definitely working on myself is take it slow slow down like stop trying to run before you can even walk. That literally makes no logical sense. And it's probably why you keep going off the bandwagon and falling off path or getting out of momentum, losing that motivation because you're trying to, you've bitten off more than you can chew. And um, it basically gets you back to square one, pretty much. You just get overwhelmed. So just slow down take it one step at a time i've spoken about this and said this so many times in so many of my videos but i really do believe it and i feel like i need to keep saying it because it's like a tip for myself too but yeah so just take your time really just set one goal at a time and focus on that 21 day mark so just set that goal do it for 21 days before you implement anything else and reevaluate before you also implement anything else whether that actually did work whether that's something that you want to continue doing or something that you don't want to continue doing and what you want to carry on with so just taking it step by step and really understanding that we need to be falling in love with the journey and not the destination but that really is kind of fundamental when you are you know focusing on just changing your life and really being productive with it spending the like most of your time in a productive way and understanding what you are as who you are as a person and what works for you and what makes you operate best some people you know there's the whole 5 a.m club some people would like to wake up early and operate best in the morning i know that i personally prefer to do everything in the morning and then chill in the evening other people are the other way around 
and they'd rather just relax and then do everything in the afternoon or that's when they're most productive. Whatever works for you is pretty much best. So some people also like to work in like two hour slots where they just sit down and get it all done or other people like to just block it up. So just work in whatever way that works for you pretty much and just take it slow. Enjoy the process slow it down and my third and final tip now this one is a little bit more heavy and i mean i'm not a therapist i don't have like a degree in psychology or anything like that but i do truly believe that you kind of need to get to the bottom of why you think the way you think and understand that your behaviors are a pattern and that patterns need to be broken and in order to break the pattern you need to kind of get to the root cause of why you do it in the first place which is actually quite hard and is very very difficult and is very very difficult and is going to be really time consuming so again give yourself the time to really do this properly there are so many incredible coaches and um you know people that you can seek help for in this people that i really like to follow that really help this kind of stuff is like tony robbins marissa peer is really great for this kind of stuff as well like self-love loving yourself accepting yourself all of that kind of stuff tony robbins is definitely great in terms of business wise marissa peer more personal stuff but um yeah finding like maybe a coach or someone that is you know this is their profession to kind of help you with that will definitely help as well there's loads and loads of like free resource free resources that can help you if you don't want to be spending the money or you can't be spending the money right now that's absolutely fine you know you can definitely there's podcasts there's books but it's really understanding that everything you need is within you and that sometimes is so hard to comprehend and really get to grips with but it is fundamentally true and completely i mean yeah it's it's everything that you need is within you and understanding accepting and loving yourself is really key to just finding that balanced life and moving forward into the life that you deserve because we are our worst critics and we are the only thing that is actually holding us back. Definitely do the legwork when it comes to all of that hard stuff, understanding why you think the way you think, why you have those thoughts, the way that you behave, what that pattern is, all of that kind of stuff. Just definitely understand it and just be honest with yourself. Have those really difficult conversations. Maybe something that you've been pursuing for ages isn't actually what you want in life and it's kind of... you. You don't really want to admit it because maybe you feel like you've wasted your time but you have never ever wasted time really really because everything is a lesson and everything that we do in life is our choice and sometimes we just need to be doing something for a hell of a lot longer before we you know move paths or change career path whatever it is um just because you still need to get something out of it so don't ever beat yourself up if you are deciding to do a oh, full 180 on a dis on the decision that you've made or a path that you are going down that's absolutely fine that's actually a lot of there's a there's serious bravery in doing something like that so just don't beat yourself up but make sure that you do that shadow work as i like to call it really looking into yourself understanding your flaws also understanding your self your level of self-esteem why you think the way you think what's holding you back truly holding you back and get to the root root cause of things and take your time with it so that you can really unravel them one thing at a time to just ultimately get zen but yeah, I hope that these tips have kind of helped you when it comes to tackling those limiting self-beliefs. It's really, really hard to kind of make a video that's going to be helpful for people, but without making it super, super... You know, I want to be able to help people, but it's difficult without knowing certain situations. So if you do ever want any help or need any other little, you know, maybe you want some podcast ideas or... Um, book recommendations whatever it is just uh literally just drop a comment or dm me on instagram i'm really really active on there and would love to just send out some re recommendations of people that i absolutely love that really help me with my personal development journey and especially getting into your limiting self-beliefs and understanding that belief system is the fundamental 
that your belief system is the start of everything and having a really strong belief system is key to that life balance, that happiness, that movement, momentum, everything. It is key to everything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel too because it helps me out. And also leave a comment because I do love to just, you know, see what you guys are thinking, get your input too. So I will see you guys next week with another video. Thanks. Bye.